We are here in the flat of Jonas. It is 12 a.m. and I think Jonas is a bit hungry. decides to visit his friend Vanessa to find out what is growing on his toes. She is working in the Helmholtz Center for Infection Research in Brunswick. On his way to Vanessa, he thinks about working and the behavior in a biosafety lab. Biosafety level one. This level is suitable for work involving well-characterized agents not known to consistently cause disease in healthy adult humans and of minimal potential hazard to laboratory personnel and the environment. Vanessa? Yes? Before you enter a lab, you have to get a safety breathing. You have to wear a lab coat, special lab shoes and safety goggles. Good that Jonas has brought the toes to the Helmholtz Center because microorganisms can be hazardous. Let's go to the lab and see what it could be. Fungi are eukaryotic single-celled or multinucleate organisms that live by decomposing and absorbing the organic material in which they grow. Viruses are parasites which need host cells for reproduction, consists of proteins, lipids and genetic material. A parasite is an organism that lives on or in an organism of a different species. The host doesn't benefit from the aliens and is most often harmed by the parasite. Bacteria are a group of microscopic single-celled prokaryotes. Organisms are characterized by a lack of a nucleus. They can function as pathogenic organisms, but they can also be helpful, for example for the digestion. Genetically modified organisms are organisms whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques.
Biosafety Level 2. This level is similar to Biosafety Level 1 and is suitable for work involving agents of moderate potential hazard to personnel and the environment. Additional to the S2 sign, there has to be a sign of biohazardous. All labs where genetically modified organisms are used have to be signed as genetic lab. When you want to work with microorganisms, you have to work under a safety cabinet. There has to be a short instruction. You have to wait 15 minutes before you could start. Keep in mind that the safety cabinet has to be disinfected and cleaned up. Airing grid has to be free. All tools that you use in the safety cabinet have to be disinfected and some tools like tweezers have to be sterilized in a flame. After Vanessa has disinfected her working equipment, she takes a sample to examine the toast. During the research on the toast, other trainees do also some mistakes. Please keep calm and don't forget to disinfect the contaminated material. The escape way has to be free. Hold the pipette vertical and prevent the aerialization. It is forbidden to go with contaminated trash out of the lab.
If you want to transport contaminated samples, it has to be in an enclosed autoclaving box. You put your toast in an autoclaving bag and close it with autoclaving tape, then put it in the box. Put the autoclaving box into the autoclaver, push the door until it locks and choose the right program. You use special tape which is completely white before the sterilization. Afterwards it looks like a piano keyboard. When the color changed the sterilization was successful. One day later Jonas received an email from Vanessa in which she told him the result of the experiment.